Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about how to vacuum. The chances are that you live somewhere where you probably need to vacuum. And personally, I don't actually vacuum that much. Usually my brother or my girlfriend will do the vacuuming. And also we just keep the carpet clean so it doesn't need to get vacuumed. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to show how to vacuum. I have a wireless vacuum or a cordless vacuum. If you have a corded vacuum, that slightly changes how it's going to work because you have to be close to an outlet and the way you're going to move around, you have to make sure that the wire is not, you're not going to roll over it or do anything like that. Now, I have used a wired vacuum before. What I do is I have the wire go over the back of my shoulder or go over on my shoulder. That way when I'm going, it hopefully doesn't fall off or if it does, I can catch it and pull it back up and if I use it with my off hand I can do whatever but the point is to have it kind of wired back to be behind you and then when you're going in reverse you can just kind of pick it up or just try to not go backwards but when it comes to vacuuming in general the first thing is usually for a vacuum it's stuck like this and you need to kick it down so it goes at an angle more and what I'll do is I'll just push it up against the foot plate there like this. And if that doesn't work, you can just lean down and, and do it like that. Either way, here it is. The tough thing about vacuuming is that usually you can, if like if you're walking, you can just go ahead and push it straight and you can just go walk with it. But when you're in a wheelchair, you have to push. And if you only push on one wheel, you're going to go to, to one side. So you kind of have to push, switch hands, push, switch hands, and, and back and forth like that when you're going in reverse. So what I recommend is when you're in a room and you know, okay, this is the room I'm vacuuming, these are the parts that I'm going to vacuum, just get in one general area where you can maybe put your brakes on, lean forward, get it all, and then you can take your brakes off, or maybe just one of them, spin around, take it with you, and then just go from there. That way, you don't actually have to move around that much. That's one nice thing that I would recommend doing. That way, see here, I can vacuum this side, and then I can just turn on one brake, lift it up or whatever you need to do, right? But you could maneuver it. For the sake of video, I did not. Here, and then I can go this way, continue vacuuming. And this way I can get the majority of the carpet without having to really move around. And sometimes you can push off of stuff while you're vacuuming. That way you can keep yourself a little bit more straight, like this table, although I'm not straight. But you get the point, you can push off stuff, but usually people aren't able to do that just because of the stuff that's around. Like a table isn't really a great thing because if you're near the table, you're only going to be able to get this much stuff, and so you might as well just stay in one spot and reach for it. But the point is, have someone else to do the vacuuming. 